the change in his spirit. The change in his spirit resulted in a change of his mind. Because how many of you know the spirit is the seat of the intellect, the mind, and the will. When his spirit changed, his mind changed. When his mind changed, his will changed. When his will changed, his behavior changed. And when his behavior changed, his entire life changed. Because touch somebody and tell them, you need to know that you are what you do and you do what you think. Because every action that the body performs was preceded, dictated, and determined by a thought. That's why the Bible says, as a man thinketh, so is he. Because you are what you do and you do what you think. But your thought always help me somebody although your thought is distributed by your brain it still originates in your mind which is separate from your brain see your mind is in your spirit your brain is what connects your mind to your body what am I saying I'm saying in order for a person to truly change not to suppress behavior or repress that behavior but in order for a person to truly change their actions they must first change their mind they must be transformed by the renewing of their mind so that they can prove what is that good and what is that acceptable and what is that perfect will of God but they cannot change their mind until they have a change of spirit and the only thing that can change the spirit of a man is the reception into our spirit of the spirit of the Lord and baby when your spirit has really been changed when salvation really comes to your house you are no longer walk the way you used to walk you no longer live the way you used to live you no longer think the way you used to think no longer do what you used to do and you no longer be who or what you used to be somebody shout about it this morning one church in two locations the new spirit revival center is located at 3130 mayfield road in the city of cleveland heights and 1061 clearview avenue in the city of akron join us for anointed praise and worship and a powerful life-changing word join doctors daryl and belinda scott and the new spirit revival center for more information log on to nsrcministries.org new spirit revival center the church for you Look at your neighbor and say, I know that's right. I know that's right. How can you say you're saved and not be desirous of holy living? How can you say you're saved and not be offended by carnality? How can you say you're saved without crucifying your flesh with the affections and love thereof? How can you say you're saved and you still slip and slide? You still dip and dab? How can you say you're saved when you're bad? Barely ever even come to church. How can you say you're saved and you're still drinking and smoking dope? How can you say you're saved but you'll divorce your spouse without a biblical cause? How can you say you're saved and you're still a thief and a liar? How can you say you're saved but you're a homosexual or a lesbian? How can you say you're saved and you not only still love the world but you want to bring that world in crap into the church? Ask somebody, is he talking about you? How can you say you're saved and you don't walk in the fullness of the things of God? How can you say you're saved but you, divide, you despise spirituality? How can you say you are saved? They say, oh, but I'm struggling. Oh, I'm struggling. That gives me a free pass. Because I'm struggling. I get some complex. Because I'm struggling. I still get to slip out. Because I'm struggling. But the only struggle is you trying to hold on to something that God wants you to let go of. Baby, if you let it go, the struggle is over. If you quit trying to hold on to it, then the struggle is over. You don't struggle with drugs. It's as long as you try to hold on to drugs, you don't struggle with fornication as long as you want to keep fornicating. But baby, when the Spirit of the Lord 
you used to like will be the thing you come to hate. The thing you used to enjoy will be the thing you come to despise. Shout about it and say, I know that's right. One church. In two locations, the New Spirit Revival Center is located at 3130 Mayfield Road in the City of Cleveland Heights and 1061 Clearview Avenue in the City of Akron. Join us for anointed praise and worship and a powerful life-changing word. Join Drs. Daryl and Belinda Scott and the New Spirit Revival Center. For more information, log on to nsrcministries.org. New Spirit Revival Center, the church for you.